One of the big hassles with printmaking is that presses usually cost thousands of dollars. But by getting a pasta press and making a few modifications, we can get one that works well. The pasta press itself works pretty well for doing etchings. The only trouble is it feeds at the top and comes out at the bottom and uh, sometimes crunches things up. So, if you get the whole press, remove the bottom part, bolt it down on its side on a board, you can create a press that works quite well for doing small jobs. This one will do about the size of a postcard. First of all, I'm going to test it out with a dry point plate. I'll go on its smaller setting and I'm just sandwiching the plate between some folded cardboard and I'm printing on some dampened paper with water-based inks. And it works a treat. I'm really happy. Now the big test is an etching. This time I'm using a zinc plate as the platen. I'm putting down an aluminium plate, or an aluminium plate, damp paper. I'm adding a bit of this stuff here. This is like this sort of packing foam stuff. I'm using that like a blanket. And I wind it through the press on a higher setting. The great thing is you can vary the setting. And it comes through great. So there you go, this is working as good as the big press, just on a smaller scale. But small scale is good because you can pop in a letter and throw it through the post. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Check out some of my other printmaking videos. See you next time.